Okay. It's cold outside. All right, now what's going on, YouTube? We got some stuff to install today. Um, or at least I'm going to attempt to. So go ahead and grab this stuff. This is going to be a very simple, uh, kind of a tasteful thing. I kind of wanted to try it out. I got a few other things from a certain company, but this is what we're going to use from them today. So I got some stuff in the mail recently from ADDW1. It's, um, let me find a, yeah, here, you can see it here. So as you can see, it says ADD space W1. They got a lot of carbon fiber pieces. Like for example, uh, these are some of their canards that they make or canards, canards. I don't, I'm not really sure how to say that. Everybody says something different. A lot of the things they make are all carbon fiber parts and i'm not gonna lie but i really 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 like them i don't want to break these i got stuck together great anyways these are going to go on the bumper that i get at some point in the future but they're very very nice carbon fiber pieces i'm really excited to see how they fit but i can't use them right now i gotta wait because obviously i can't put them on the car now let's see what else do they have they also okay that's empty put that there this is what we're going to be doing today but i'll show that in a second uh that's empty sent me some purple gauge holders i thought that would go really well with the dnd parts i have on the car they sent me more filters for their pcb delete sent me some stickers um and this one's actually kind of interesting there's a giant one right here but i'll show the smaller one first because it's easier but for those filters there's actually some carbon fiber covers this is actually going to sit in front of your filter or whatever you use like i have a pcb delete that sits right on top of the engine right here so it would end up sitting something like that a little bit more flush because this is not installed but you get the idea so now we will go ahead and put everything else back these are actually some relays or uh kind of like a ballast you know for hids and then these who's calling me hello hey buddy what are you doing i'm in the garage oh would you like to go eat with us I just ate. What you eat? I had granola and yogurt. Also, Man. also, I'm recording right now. Say hello to everybody on YouTube. All like thousand people that watch my videos. Hi, all thousand people that watch Zori's videos. I was trying to go to Log Cabin and eat some scrumptious, delicious food. That sounds pretty expensive. You sound expensive. I am expensive. You can't, you can't afford this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, sweet one. Okay. Bye. All right. Uh, so back to what I was doing. I'm just gonna like, yeah, we'll set that right there, out of the way. So anyways, we got some 3M double-sided tape right here. I would be using that at some point in the future. And then we have some actual overlays themselves. Now, for example, this one is going to be fuel and the temperature gauge. So it's going to go on this one inside underneath the lens. And then it's gonna be a uh, set of black and orange. It's gonna be kind of a gray, white, and blue. And you do have to hook it up to a battery source eventually, but today I'm not gonna be doing that because I don't have a battery in the car, nor do I have a dash. I'm just gonna be in installing the overlays themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go with the, on the little gauges first because I feel like they'll be a little bit easier. Grab this and then you get this thing, pop that out and then you pop that in. Yo, and then you unscrew this. Make sure that whenever you take things apart, you pay attention so you know how to put them back together. Fair warning from somebody that might have taken an engine out of a car without paying attention to anything. On the outside of these, if you can see, they got some little tabs right there. Those pop up inside of the corner here but we'll go ahead and set that aside this yeah i need a give me a screwdriver real quick pop that tab off that tab off and then last one all right so now we have our gauges exposed so for the first one i know that one goes on the outside of here so we'll go ahead and put it there i gotta i gotta find it i think it's this one yeah so that goes inside there i wonder if i could do this i wonder how this would work oh it works look at that uh, at first when I got this, I was actually a little bit skeptical because it has a wire that you have to run, but um, you can run it outside underneath here. Or at least I'm hoping you can. That's my plan. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I am gonna have to glue this in there somewhat. Let's go ahead and get some, uh, oh, it's got double-sided tape on it. All right, we're gonna pull this thing off. I looked at this stuff before and I was like, man, this is gonna suck because none of it's glued, but I, I guess I kind of like overlooked it. Okay, so we got that one off, run the wires back through it again. I'm really hoping that you can see all this. Me wearing like black pants was probably not the best idea for uh, installing black parts. Now that goes like that, like so. 
So that's one gauge uh, overlay installed. This is going to be the easiest one because there's no needles involved. So you see, it's actually pretty clean. So if I can pull this off, this should look pretty good, except for the fact that wires come out the fat. That's okay, we'll work with it. Oil pressure will be next. Come on, get out, you little thing. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier. So the oil pressure, this one I know is gonna have to be glued. I don't wanna glue it, but so be it. So I could put it like that, that will work. So for the needles on these, you gotta be careful. You can remove them, but they're kinda like tricky. So we got it, see it's facing down right now. I've already taken these off and put it back on, so I don't even know if they're right. But I'm gonna just act like I know what I'm doing. So I have it down like this because this one acts weird. If you put it to here, it'll uh, go back. But if you put it past it, it'll turn all the way around. So I'm not sure how it's activated, but I'm gonna let it hang so that way I know I can get it back on the needle properly. And then you just pull it up. And now these two needles, you cannot mix them up. They each go in a specific spot on here. So the oil pressure needle needs to go back on the oil pressure. Don't ask me how I know that. I didn't wear my glasses, or let me rephrase that. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm, I'm struggling to see a little bit. I don't know which one is the glue. I don't know where I'm separating it. Oh, this one's the glue. All right, sweet. Stick that thing on there. That's actually a little bit stickier than I was expecting it to be. And there is a little needle right here, but we're gonna, it's gonna be all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, peel this off somehow. I gotta get that top layer off. Where's my knife? Actually, wait, no, 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 I got some of these. Forgot to have razors. Okay, there we go, that corner is off. Now we'll go ahead and grab these and get one of them. So you get that thing lined up and you can put your needle back on. Boom, okay, it's like, it's barely touching it. Let me see if I can pull it off some. There we go. All right, so we got that thing on there. Let me try using the razor blade to get this one off. Yes, it's a little bit easier. All right, that one's turning just fine. So now we can go ahead and put this one back together. Hopefully it all looks good. I had to figure out what to do with these uh, wires. All right, we got those getting somewhere. This one doesn't want to clip, come on. Okay, all right, now hold up. Okay, that makes sense. I was curious why we had different oil and, and stuff like that. Okay, so we had the actual overlay itself that goes on the inside, but just like this one, there's an outer part to it. So here we have the other oil. If you can see, there's an open space on this one, whereas this one is just inside of there. That's because they give you a separate overlay for inside and out. Now it makes sense, but that means that I need to take this part again. So I'm trying to separate the glue on the back of these real quick. Hang on. And now we can go ahead and put it back in, just like we did the other one. And I'm not gonna lie, like even if I were to cut the wire, off of this just having the uh the silver to match the graphite of the engine bay oh i didn't even notice that they're the same color this shit would look good all right that's uh the last one in there now we can put it back together hopefully this uh i can get this to work because this is a lot of wires that i'm working with feeling good sort of i think what's up need to make sure that these do not get messed up or pinched or cut in any way okay looking good looking good doing good so far Okay, I think we're good. So this is the finished product. So now we got this one done. Now we get to get really ballsy and do the bigger one. So hopefully this goes just as smooth. I'm, I'm doing some stuff. I gotta figure out what to do with this. Do I like zip tie it? Or actually, where's, where's the tape? Why the fuck is it just taped up? So that way water doesn't get in it? Because okay, as you know, I it- I just taped up. I feel like they would put some with plastic and then take the plastic at least. Cause you can just fucking yeah, but what, why would you shove your finger through there? I'm just saying something could puncture this, Daniel. You're I, missing the principle of what I tape that. I put a trash bag over the whole thing, wrapped it up in tape. Okay, that's But different. I did this underneath because these are the parts that are exposed and I don't want water to get into them. I didn't know it had a trash bag over it. Yeah. Okay, so we got three gauges left to cover. I have not taken this one apart yet, so I don't know how to do it. So you get to watch me just kind of figure it out. This um, this one's a little bit more intimidating because I actually have to find the proper way to take it apart. I have an idea. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I'm doing it. It's really sad. That's actually kind of like, I don't do any research before I do stuff like this. I just kind of like dive into it, go balls deep. I just kind of like hope things work. Okay, this is stuck. I don't know why it's stuck. That definitely looks like it's screwed in, unless it just pries open. Nope, it's not screwed in. So that is now exposed. I don't think this just, oh, oh it does. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not too comfortable with this. Hopefully this works. That looks like a piece that you pop off. Okay, two clips, now we gotta take these screws out. So now that is unscrewed, so let's see if we can get this off. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now it wants to come off nice and easy. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. There. There we go. It was the wires that were holding it on. Okay. So that's off. I mean, should be able to get the front off. Let's see. Well, this top piece wants to come off now. Oh, so the buttons and everything come off. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can get this off. Ah. Yeah. Separate this. It's way easier. Okay. Oh, this is aluminum. That's dope. I didn't know that was metal. I thought that was plastic. That's what I'm like. Much more respect. Good job, Nissan. I'm, I'm actually really proud of you for that one. Even though you make engines that blow up. Just kidding. I just, I, I just like to blow up my cars. Okay, we got that off now. Sweet. We're doing good. This looks interesting. So we got these now. Let's, oh, this comes off too. Hey. So now it looks like I need to take this off because this is not a circular shape to fit in there. It's got a corner, so it's going to actually lay underneath the plastic. Let me, we're taking this thing apart a little bit further than I was expecting. Okay, pretty sure both bottoms are off. Yes, sir. They are, now we'll get the tops. Okay, okay. Should be free to come off now. And the gauges are exposed. Check that out. This is actually one really big overlay. I didn't know that. So then it's now straight down. I feel like I should glue this, this one down. We'll get a bigger ring for this one. There we go. So we got that one on there now. Put the needle back on. And there we go. The speedometer is now done. The, I think that just broke. That definitely just broke. That's not good. That was definitely close to breaking. Uh, it definitely popped in my fingers and almost just crumpled to pieces. That circle's not perfect. Oh, that's gonna bother me. I put it like a millimeter off to the side. That center right there, the circle, it's not, it's not perfect. So now the fun part is trying to remember how to put this back together. So I know this goes here. We'll start there, right, come on. Because of the extra overlay, it's got a little bit of uh, resistance going on the clips. All right, sweet. That one did not want to go on. All right, next. Um, I don't remember what's next. Pretty, wait, I think it was this? Yeah, it was definitely, wait. Yeah, it was this one. This was, I think. And then the plastic, and no. This now goes over that. It looks like I might be wrong. Pretty sure this is next. All right, well, you know what? We're just gonna, yeah, push it back together and make it work. Okay, well, we'll put this on next. Pretty sure the aluminum just goes underneath this. Okay, things are popping back in place. I'll put the back of this on. All back together. I just gotta put on the back pieces now. Yeah, look at that. Ah, go me. Oh wait, 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 wait. Almost forgot. Most important part, I gotta plug these back in. So there we go. We got this back together. Sweet. Let me put the back cover on. Now, I have not wired it. I won't be doing that until I start putting the car back together and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and get these side by side so y'all can check them out one more time before you leave. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up if this was helpful in any sort of way or you just wanted to watch and tag along. Um, welcome, it's nice to see you for the first time or it's nice for you to see me for the first time. I have a 350Z that I'm building for Time Attack and Autocross. Oh God, my hair probably looks horrible. I've been wearing the head strap. Ignore it, just, it's all good. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna check out more of the car and beans in the corner, I might be dyno tuning him soon. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. It's an idea at the moment, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.